Oh, what? Oh, oh what the heck? Why is it? Oh, haha, <laughs> I got you guys. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's Alec Mac one on one. And what are you dudes doing here? I. Once again, I have a GoPro Hero unboxing. So this is actually the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. I thought I was getting a bat black, a uh, big stupid fiasco, kind of frustrating, kind of problematic. But I finally got it. I ended up sending back my old GoPro Hero 4 Silver after I recorded a ton of footage of it with it in Oklahoma. Um, so I ended up getting another GoPro Hero 4 Silver um, because I thought I got the black originally. So he charged me like 375 and the GoPro Hero black is 500 and the silver is 400. So I sent it back because he didn't want to take any cheaper of a price. He was like, no, I can sell it for more and ended up selling it for less than I offered him. So sucks to suck, but that's how it is. So as you can tell, I have two packages here. Once again, I also got these uh, stickers. So this is going to actually, let's go ahead and throw this on my uh, Pelican case for my GoPro right now, or GoPro and Contour actually. Um, I love stickers. It's kind of a problem. Um, as long as we don't, oh, we can get rid of the Air Splat logo because I don't really care about Air Splat because they kind of suck. But... Who doesn't like a baby with a stupid picture? Just... <laughs> no drama. Just GoPro. Got him! So, as you can tell, I got a GoPro Hero 4. This actually um, has a lot more stuff with it than my last one. I actually ended up spending $430 for this package right here. This is actually some extras that I got. Um, so, it came with all the manuals and stuff. Last time, I just got literally a suction cut mount, and that was it. This is the original packaging. Um, I got the GoPro out of here, as you guys can tell. Um, it came with the skeleton back door, um, which is this one right here. As you can tell, it just has a little bit of a hole in the top. Um, for better audio and then this is the standard waterproof back door and then um, I'm actually using a frame right now um, and then it comes with a curved he didn't even use this curved piece of mount actually got a 32 gigabyte sand uh, disk memory card uh, you can see there's original cord and that's just the box and stuff no one cares about that one of the cool things I got was one of these handheld things this is actually super comfortable this is like a $30 um, floating thing and I figured with some of my videos that I'm going to be doing in the water it's pretty great not to have my camera sync so I went ahead and grabbed uh, this in the deal I don't know if I was gonna get one of these separate but I'm really glad it came with it so I'm excited about that what I'm really excited for also is the suction cup mount um, this is really important for me because like I said I do uh, time-lapse stuff um, and I know it's really cool to have one of this this isn't all the parts for it so I don't know if he didn't have the other parts or what um, or didn't put it but this is I mean I guess that's the main uh, thing you need for it I got, uh, this is a three-way tripod. Looks really cool. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it or how I'm going to mount it or what to do with mounting it or what this does. Whoa. Oh, that's the tripod base. That's sweet. You can tell how smart I am. So, yeah, this is the tripod. Uh, blue button looks like it moves some stuff. I just want to hit that blue button because it looks so cool. Look at that. It's like a pretty cool, it looks like the uh, AIP stuff for high capus. Um, here's the sander uh, housing. This is with the touchback door. It's a little bit different. As you can tell, it's a little bit smaller. Um, it's actually waterproof up to 10 feet while the standard housing is 131, which is ridiculous because I don't think I'll ever need that much waterproofing. But hey, it works. Oh, here, here's the other suction cup mounts. I hope he gave me a bunch of random mounts too as well. So there's, I don't really know what these are, dude. That one. And yeah, there's the rest of the suction come out. That's good because I needed that. Um, potentially, could need that if I want to do like more time lapse stuff. Um, this is a key tool. I'm not exactly sure. I know this tightens it. Uh, and then a variety of other GoPro accessories. All the GoPro accessories. Almost caught all of them, but one. Oh well. Probably still looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's it. GoPro. Um, I also got another unboxing. I'm actually going to Romania this summer, so I'm gonna make a sweet uh, Romania montage. Um, I'm going. Um, with my college, we were actually going to work in an orphanage in Romania, so I am super pumped to work with some kids and just hang out with some people uh, and share Jesus' love with them. Um, I'm really excited for that. I'm going to make a sweet montage with I where I have a ton of just awesome footage. I have three memory cards with 32 gigabytes on them. Um, it's just going to be cool. I'm going to get some time lapse of the plane and just work more. Like I said, I kind of want to work on like filmography stuff just because it's cool. This is the frame box. It's on the GoPro right now because that's what has the best audio apparently. Um, this is a charger changer. Um, over in Europe, they have different voltage um, than we do in America, so this converts it um, just to the power that we use. It. I think we use 220 volts and they use 110 or something, or it's the other way around. I really don't remember. 
um, either way that works. And this, also like uh, the Caseco thing I got, which I'm gonna be doing a review on four of these Caseco things real quick um, because they're sweet and I really like power beacons. I got another one of these just so I can have a ton of charge when I need it. This is 3000 milliamps. Um, came with two extra batteries. Uh, this is like the package that I got off of Amazon. These are the small tree batteries. Uh, Wallace from Z-Shot got uses these batteries. So I was like, oh, I might as well use them um, just because it's sweet. And I have an assist from SureShot Midget 14 who just got 100 subscribers. This is a cool little Z-Shot picture he painted because he's ridiculously good at art. Um, so there you go. Quick, quick little snippet. Go subscribe to SureShot Midget 14's channel. He just hit... Uh, 100 subscribers actually. I ended up being the 100th subscriber because I never subscribed to him because I see his videos anyway. Uh, but he needed one more, so I went and I did it. This is the three battery charger, triple battery charger. It actually works with the original GoPro ones too, even though it's Smotry, just so you guys know that and understand that. Um, Smotry battery is a little bit more square than the GoPro standard ones. Uh, it doesn't matter, still works. This is actually a dual car charger, which I probably won't even use for the GoPro stuff. I'll probably just like throw this in my car so I can use it for my phone and stuff. Um, but if I need to, I can also um, use it. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the 1A, and that's the 2.1. So that's like the different um, outputs as far as what you want. That's really cool. But yeah, some of those cool things. Let's open this little toy here. That looks fancy and looks like it could do some damage if you wanted to hurt people. Hiya! Just kidding, it just looks like a taser for those of you that didn't get that joke. Um, but yeah, this has already been a stupid long video as it is. So this is Alec Mac 1 and 1, and I will see you guys. PPU taser out. Bag pull. Bye bye.